Hey guys, I'm back here at Midwest Car Exchange and uh, I was going to do a few Cadillacs that they have in here now. They have some Eldorados and I wanted to do a quick series of them. So we're going to uh, check out this beautiful one right here. This is a nice looking car. <clears throat> And this one here is kind of like a silver color. It's not gray, but it's like a silver metallic, if you will. Beautiful color, though. And it's the same color on the inside with the interior. And this particular model is the HT4100. And as you can see, it's real nice. Doesn't have a sunroof top. Probably how most of y'all would prefer. But it is a very nice, clean car. I really like it. Let's take a look at the interior. So we can only get in from the driver's side, but as you can see, the rear seats are really nice. Very clean. Well-kept car. Headliner. It's in good condition. Driver's seat, passenger seat, both look like they're in excellent condition. And it has the power option. Eighty-five on the top of the speed as far as the speedometer. Now this was a eighties model, so you know, regulations were different back then. But it seemed like it came fully loaded. And these things were excellent riding cars. I used to ride in one. And uh, I never had any complaints about them. All right. Let's check out the next Cadillac. Okay, guys. We got ourselves an Eldorado Baritza here. And this is a pretty one. White with some burgundy trim to it. But white leather seats. Plenty of chrome. Front wheel drive. I used to laugh at these cars sometimes. I thought they were such big boats on the front end and that small rear end. But what did I know at that time? These things were some nice cars, you know. Because we had an Oldsmobile Tornado that was built just like it. And I ended up owning that thing. My parents didn't want it no more. I got it, and that thing was something else to drive, so I knew these Cadillacs weren't too much of a difference. Except I had cloth interior, and not leather interior like this. Last time you seen white leather interior. Or some people may say it might be vinyl. But this thing is pretty. Headliner is immaculate. No sunroof, but uh, you got plenty of good Detroit steel on here. Now, this car turned out to be a real nice one. It's pretty tight in here, so we're going to do our best to make our way through here. And this actually is the first time I've ever seen this combination where <laughs> you had white seats and panels, but you had a different color. So this must have been special. Oh, but this is the Baritza, so i never seen many of them. So maybe they had the combination like that to make it set off and stand apart from the others. But this is a nice size car. Front wheel drive. You got plenty of room in here. See if we get that back in real good. Yeah, these cars were nice and big for a two-door vehicle. Let's check out the next caddy. Okay, guys, here we got a uh, four-door Fleetwood. Beautiful blue color with a dark blue top. Sitting behind it is a red two-door coupe with a white top. We'll get to that in a minute. But as I was saying before with the Cadillacs, such a beautiful 
well-built type of car. If you were into Cadillac, you knew what you had. You really didn't get rid of them until they finally broke down. I used to see a lot of people driving these till they basically fell apart and they had to get rid of them. But this one here, this Fleetwood is really nice. Your plush seats, your Cadillac, just like the El Dorado I, I videoed at another place, but you had your Cadillac stitched into the seat, the emblem. So this one here is a 5.0 liter. This is a real nice car, four door. And this is how they used to make them with a nice size trunk for the luggage, plenty of room on the inside, if you and the family. But let's take a look at this coupe because this thing is not a slouch. And this is the same thing, nice size trunk and if you had a small family, this Coupe de Ville, you can put your family in here without a problem. As we're about to look in through the driver's side. Nice white seats. Kind of same color as the, the Barrettes we just did. So that was front wheel drive, and this is rear wheel, Coupe de Ville, fully loaded. Headliner looks really nice. They got a poster back there. I'm sure you guys enjoy that. Doesn't have a sunroof, but this car is pretty clean. Can't see the passenger side, but the driver's side is telling me it was well kept, no damage. As you get to see the motor. This was a well-kept car. I knew a lot of people had these Coupe de Ville, some neighbors, People on the next block away from my parents' house. People I went to school with, these things were everywhere. Workmates, everyone. All right, let's check out the next Cadillac. Okay, guys, here we go. We got ourselves another El Dorado. <laughs> Seems like we ran into a slew of them this week. And this one here has the 500 cubic inch motor. Since we're here at the motor, we're gonna look in at this massive engine as it states on that tag over there it's the 501 block this thing's huge that's a big motor and then you can see a little further down is sitting on the front wheel transmission That is a lot of motor. A nice size radiator to go with it. Okay, as you guys can see the tag, 501, 500 cubic inch. You got your emissions information. As I was saying, this is a very big engine block. All I used to hear from Cadillac owners how Ford and Lincoln could not touch the size of this motor with the 460s. 
as far as performance and acceleration, you know, reliability. That's all I used to hear from the people who believed in Cadillac. And this thing is huge. Really big motor. My God, I'm very impressed when you see these 500 cubic inch blocks. So as we look at this Eldorado, it's a, co a convertible. It has this nice green color to it. It's almost like a, a sea mist. And if we look on the inside, nice white interior. Same for the seats in the back really hard to see through that glass but trust me the seats are the same color Yeah, this is a nice Eldorado.